Hello, kindergarten first graders. Welcome back to PE this week. This is week seven. We're back home again. I'm in my room. I got my space. And what do I need? We're going to continue on with what we did last week with the piece of paper and the hat. Why are we continuing on? Well, in PE, when we come to PE, we usually have a little longer. And also when we have PE at school, we don't just do one lesson and then just move on to the next thing. We always revisit it and go over again. So today we're going to review our hat, throw, and catch. We are also going to add some more stuff to that as well. We're going to still do our Tabata trains. That means we're going to work out for 30 seconds of throwing and catching. Then you have a 15 second break to get some water. So work out water, work out water, work out water. So we're going to do a bunch of that stuff today. And when we're close to the end, we're going to put the hat down and we're going to just use our hands to work on some catching, maybe some hitting. So we've got a lot to do. Make sure you got your water bottle, crumpled up piece of paper, a hat, that you can hold on to. As you can see, I have a Cubs hat, Cubs fan. I'm a Chicago Cubs baseball fan, yes, and a Cook fan, yes. So get your stuff, get ready. As you can see, Mr. Briggs has his space right there ready to go. Get set up, I'm pushing pause. If you're ready to go, let this keep rolling. If you need to get your stuff, push pause and push play when you're ready. All right, guys, you're ready. Like I said, we're gonna work out for 30 seconds and then 15 second break. I'm doing everything with you, so listen along. If you have a family member who wants to do stuff with you, Feel free, have them come out here. You need a hat and a piece of paper crumbled up as small as you can into a ball. So, let's go. First one, we're gonna throw up with our right hand and catch with our left. So this is our basic throw and catch. The easiest one we have because, why? We always start with our warmups. You just did your arm warmups as well with our warmups, our legs. So now we're throwing up and we're catching. Let's see if we remember. We always keep our eyes on the ball. That's right. The paper today is our ball. So I'm going to say ball. That means paper. All right? There. Up and catch. Two, one. Now here's our break. If you want to keep practicing, do that. If you want to get a drink, do that. Otherwise, put the hat in the other hand. And we're going to do the same thing. Up and catch. Just like that. In five seconds. Four, three, two, one. One, so up, catch, just like that. Now when you're doing these at home, my kindergarten, first grade friends, some things to remember is you don't have to stand still. If you wanna make it harder on yourself, try to stand on one leg. That's hard. Maybe stand on the other leg. Maybe the simple one, walk around a little bit. Walk backwards, walk forwards, two, one, Rest. Right now we're gonna do a simple one. This is my favorite one. Why? Because we're just gonna sit down. So when we sit down, you can be crisscross applesauce or you can be on your knees. I'm gonna be on my knees and we're just gonna throw it up. Just like that. Now when we throw it up from our knees, why? We're doing that so we have to focus a little more on our throws. Because maybe when we were throwing up standing up, if our throw was bad, we had to run and chase it. Right now though, it's all about nice soft throws. Remember, we're not dropping it, soft throws. Soft throws, go ahead and switch hands. Nice and easy, look at that. I'm barely throwing it up. Nice and easy and keep my eyes on the ball. Soft, soft, soft. All right, back up guys. This one is behind our backs. This is a little tougher. Now remember, if this is too hard for you, just stay with throwing it up and catching it. That's perfectly fine. We're gonna go behind our backs, just like this. Throw it up and catch it. Throw it up behind our backs and catch it. Try to make sure you let go of it so it goes right in front of you. If you're having a hard time, maybe you can try this one. Throw it like that. If that's too hard, you practice that. But if you're feeling good, Try to switch it up, go behind your back, and catch it. 10 more seconds. And if you drop it, oh well, Mr. Briggs is gonna drop him as well. But always remember to try to keep your eyes on the ball. One more, there you go. Rest time, what do we have next? Under our legs, that's awesome. So with this one, lift your leg up, throw it up underneath it, and catch it. Very soft, not soft so you can't catch it, but not hard so it hits the ceiling and shoots down. So we'll stand there, put your leg up, throw it underneath, catch it. Nice and easy. Always keeping your eyes on the ball and look where my hat is. It's low. I don't want my hat up high because I can't see way up here. I can see down here. I can see this. I can't see 
when it's above my head. So keep going with it. Six more seconds. Now, watch this. Just switch hands, switch legs. So we're still resting right now. Get some drinks. You got seven seconds left. It's fine. Feeling good. You're ready to go. Two, one. So there we go. Up, down, lift, throw, right to your hat. Hat low, ball low, everything thrown low. That way it's easy to keep your eye on the ball. 14 more seconds. Nice and soft. Perfect job, guys. Now remember, if you're having fun with this and you think it's easy, try to walk around a little bit. Maybe try to walk backwards. All right. What is next? Off the wall. <laughs> All right. Remember this one. When you throw it off the wall, make sure you throw it up high. If you throw it off the wall low, it goes down low. Try to throw it up high so you can see it easier. Go. Got it. Really try to throw that ball at the same exact spot on the wall. Up high. Find a spot and hit that. Now, if you feel like switching hands, do that. All right, shake it off here. What do we have next? We have the ceiling. Now, remember with the ceiling, if we throw it too hard, it shoots off and it comes down. You want the ball to barely touch the ceiling. If it doesn't touch, that's okay, but barely touch it. Barely touch the ceiling. Perfect. That one didn't touch for me, but you know what? It got pretty close. But look where my hat is. My hat's always down low. Keep your hat low. The ball will fall to you. So let it fall and fall right into your hat. Everything low. Everything low. All right. What do we have next? Top hat. Uh-oh. Well, now this is when we take our hats, turn them over. We're going to try to throw it up in the air, come down, hit it, throw it up, and catch it. If this is too hard, just practice catching it. So I'm ready. I throw it up. I hit it, and I catch it. Throw it up, hit it, catch it. Throw it up, hit it, catch it. Just like that, guys. Notice how I'm not swinging it up to the sky. It's a very soft touch. Very, very, very soft. I'm gonna switch hands, see if I can do it with my other hand right now. Ooh, that one's shot all over. That was scary. Uh-oh, drop mine. Two, one. All right, this one's our hardest one we're gonna do today. We're gonna throw it up. It's gonna come down, we're gonna hit it up. Switch hands and catch it. So I throw it up, hit it, switch hands, catch it. Some of us can do it, some can't. If you're trying it and you are making mistakes, awesome, it's okay. We're all making mistakes here today. Look, I didn't even switch hands there. We're just gonna keep trying the best we can. Throw it up, hit it, switch hands. Oh, I dropped it. I just go pick it up and I keep going. I'm not mad at myself. I'm learning like you guys are still. Boom. Got it. Whew, that one hit my nose. All right. Hey. Here's my favorite one as well. Take your hat, throw it down. This is our rest time. So Mr. Briggs is also getting some water. We have four more workouts we're gonna do, but we're gonna get some water first. Now, this is still a rest, so make sure you just keep listening. Our next four, no hat. We're just gonna use our hands, all right? So you have two options with your hands. You can do the easy one, just throw it up with one hand and catch it. You guys see that? Nice and soft with your hands. Or you can try a harder one where you can just hit it up with your hands. This is your choice at home. So if you're feeling like, Mr. Briggs, I just want to do a soft throw and catch it, excellent. If you're going, Mr. Briggs, I got this. I can hit this all over the place with my right hand. Good. Now, however, if you hit it with your hand, it's got to be under control. Pretend that your hand here is the hat. Everything stays low. Keep it low. Two. One, I'm gonna start with the catching. Notice how I'm not throwing it to the ceiling. I'm throwing it right to my 
shoulder, right to my nose pretty much. We're gonna stick with this hand. Now, if you're feeling good and you're going, Mr. Briggs, I can do it. Now try to start to hit it up. Hitting it, flat, hand, flat. Uh-oh, I dropped it, so I just pick it back up and I keep going. Now, I'm all over the place. I might just keep on catching it with one hand. Now, take that ball, other hand. Same rules apply. You can catch it with one hand, or you can hit it with one hand. Your choice. So, we start in two, one, go. I'm going to start catching it. Woo! I made a mistake there, but I keep going. Keep it low. Remember to always keep your eyes on the ball. Always watch that ball fly in the air, land in your hand. Fly in the air, land in your hand. Fly in the air, land in your hand. Just like that, guys. Nine more seconds. Now we rest. We have two more workouts. The first one is going side to side, hand to hand. So right hand to left hand to right hand. To left hand. What we don't want to do is this one. This is just dropping it from hand to hand. We're not dropping it from hand to hand. Go up, other, up, other. If you're trying to teach yourself a better way, put one hand behind your back and try to catch it that way. Hand to hand, hand to hand. Always keeping your eyes on the ball. That's right. This is our last one. You can do anything we've done so far. If you want to go get your hat, get your hat. If you want to just use your hands back and forth, do that. If you want to try the hardest ones today, it's right now. Here it is. Back and forth, hand to hand. Just like that. Go. If you want to try the hardest one, this is it. Right, left, right, left. Or you can just practice back and forth. This is your time right now. 15 more seconds. And notice how I'm trying to stand still and do it. Because if you stand still, you're really in control of your body. Oh, good job, guys. Grab some water. Here's what's gonna happen next after this. Get some water, obviously, and then go to our next video. It's right below us. It is on nutrition facts. What are nutrition facts? When you eat food or drink anything, there's those words and letters and numbers all on the side. And what does that mean? So we're gonna talk a little bit about nutrition facts and go into all those nutrition facts on fats, calories, and all of those things. So thank you guys very much. K1, you guys are awesome. Hopefully we see each other soon. Have a great day.